So this is a little update on my mushroom fruiting chamber. I've been building a controlled environment with control over temperature, humidity and fresh air exchange to fruit mushrooms in. Uh, still very much a work in progress. I've been tinkering away on it while having regular Zoom calls with my dad, which been, has been a cool lockdown project. I've currently got some Phoenix oyster and some lion's mane mushrooms fruiting in it. So I thought it was a good time to share an update. So the box is a plastic box with that's 30 centimeters high, 40 centimeters wide and 50 centimeters long. The lid didn't make a great seal, so I stuffed some cling film into it to make it kind of seal better. The heart of the electronics is a Raspberry Pi Zero. Uh, that takes readings from a sensor that basically reads the temperature, humidity and CO2 levels. The Raspberry Pi also provides 5 volt power via a relay to a USB humidifier and uh, through another relay to a computer fan which does the fresh air exchange. The fan is 12 volts so I'm using a step up power regulator thingy. The whole thing is very low power, runs off a single USB plug. It's in a prototype stage on this breadboard at the moment but I'll tidy it up at some point and get the LED screen displaying. Uh, what's actually happening inside the box. So yeah, the program's really simple. It just reads off the sensor every 60 seconds. And if the humidity is too low, which I'm currently saying is 80% relative humidity, it runs the humidifier for five seconds to raise the humidity level. Uh, then every 15 minutes, it runs the fan for 40 seconds. Uh, there's always a bit of a balancing act it seems with these that you know you get it humid and then you extract the air and then that lowers the humidity again so it also sends the sensor readings to a service called ThingSpeak which is just a site that will ingest data and give give you simple graphs to look at which is pretty cool again the settings are a work in progress I'm sure I'll tweak it further yeah but that's about it I hope that's of interest to some people and let me know if you have any comments or questions I've actually got two other mycology experiments in progress so if you like stuff like that keep your eyes out for those cheers <laughs>